What up guys, welcome back to Dee's Gaming and this is the Secret Unlucky Island Special Edition and we are on our way to rescue the governor, we got our insurance from uh, the old storekeeper and we gotta go get a ship from Stan, so let's do it! May I help you? I must be in the wrong place, catch you later! Who's this guy? Suit yourself! Speak art for the governor. Hey! Where'd you go? Nowhere. Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey. The only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything. You see, the previous owners of the ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate, a mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Of course there is. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. <laughs> anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? 
great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Alright, 5,000, but that's my final offer. Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 10,000 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now where were we? Oh yeah. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 8,550 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 8,050 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? 
forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second. I guess we're almost there. <laughs> don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Buddy, you can tell me the truth. It's the little woman, isn't it? You're afraid of what she'll say when you come home with a new ship. Don't be such a wimp. Stand up to her. She'll respect you for it. And when she sees the ship, she'll love you for it. Trust me. Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 6,600 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Right, we're almost there, guys. I'm gonna bargain them down a little more. Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> See if I care. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. Did I already give you my card? Here. I'd better give you another one just in case. Thanks. Howdy! I just knew you'd be back. I knew you wouldn't be able to get that little beauty out of your mind. Come on, let's go take another look at her. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I don't understand. I thought you were interested in this ship. Let's talk extras. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sail this puppy away today for just 5,700 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? 5,000. And that's my final, final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight. OK, OK. It's killing me, but OK. <laughs> and I thought I was going to give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Yes, Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. 
all three of them. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. Oh no, this looks bad. Hmm, I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. Awesome. Having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground rivers of Monkey Island and drop anchor. Captain, sir, I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you all right? Never felt better. What? And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little trouble. Trouble? No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times, but we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guy Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish pecking at his fingers. Kind of makes you wish you were there to watch. Ah, yes, sir. Ugh. Sure does it that. Now, go check on the route. Make sure it's locked up tight. Aye, aye, Captain.
just hit me. Hey! I don't like visitors. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's preposterous. Oh, really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh, no. <laughs> this is horrible! What are we going to do? I was hoping you would have an idea. Hmm. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, no. We could get a ship and a crew and go rescue her. What an idea. Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. Really? Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many- Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. Ha ha ha! Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. Oh, duh, Paul. Yeah. It won't budge. Believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make a talk. Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? 
Sure. <coughs> I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. It doesn't seem to open. It works both ways. That's some chicken. The governor's been kidnapped! What? Here, look at this note! They kidnapped the governor? That really makes me mad! Oh, I feel like kicking someone! Hmm... I wonder if she left her place unlocked. If I let you out, would you join my crew? Sure! Of course! To my emancipator, I shall be eternally indebted. Until then, I pace. Alright guys, thank you so much again for watching. Remember to subscribe to my channel and like me, leave a comment below, and I will see you guys in the next video.